we shouldn't think of embodied existence as some kind of preliminary to something better. Mm. When we look again at what the New Testament and the early church teaches on these matters, that our hope is in the resurrection of, of the body, um, the claim that the, the kind of dis, some kind of disembodied or soulish existence is somehow purer, better, the physical life that we lead now is seen to be deeply mistaken. We are embodied creatures. We're, we are to be embodied not just in this life, but according to the Christian message, message in the life to come. When you think about it in those sorts of terms, then uh, I think that should, that should alter how you relate to other people who are also embodied. Mm. Um, that the idea isn't to get rid of this and to, to go to something better, but the idea is to understand how best to live as embodied people mm. in the world in which we're placed and given. The whole of reality and, and the whole of my experience is saturated with a sense of the divine. Mm. That impregnates everything that I do and my whole way of thinking about the world. And I don't think I'm unusual in that respect. Mm -hmm. So if you think about um, the whole of life as, as being uh, lived in the presence of God mm -hmm. uh, and that God suffuses everything that we do, then I think that we will no longer be tempted to think there's something we do in the classroom with our heads, as it were, with our brains, which is somehow completely divorced from and other than what we do in everyday life. And somehow we've got to bring those two things together and we've got to bridge that. There's no bridge to, to build because those two are two different activities that we do in the presence of God. We delight in God and we glorify God with our minds. We delight in God and we glorify God with our bodies, uh, in our worship, in our everyday lives. Once we see that, then what we do in one of those spaces should bleed into what we do in these other spaces. Just look at the way that products are advertised to us all the time if you have a television set or you go to the movies. A lot of those products are designed to uh, help you think that um, you're going to live forever, um, that the young and the perfect bodies are the right bodies to, to sort of adore and contemplate. We are presented with images that, that tell us you don't need to worry about the future. You don't need to worry about growing old. You don't need to worry about bodies that don't work properly. You need to focus on um, the eternal beauty of youth, on perfectly formed bodies that don't go wrong, um, on the expectation that you will continue to live and be able to fill your life with all sorts of um, products that we can sell you and so yeah. on and so forth. And yeah. that seems to me to be a real problem. Um, because we're so busy filling our lives with those sorts of things that we don't ever um, stop to think about our mortality. Or perhaps it's rather more like this, we fill our lives with those products because we don't want to think about mm. our own mortality. Mm.